What's going on, guys? I appreciate those of you that are waiting on the stream to start. For those of you stopping by watching the replay, make sure you hit that thumbs up, turn on all notifications, and subscribe so you'll be notified when we do these live chats and you can take part in these streams. So we have a couple fragrances from Fragrenza that they sent my way. They actually uh, reached out to me. They emailed me and uh, offered them up and told me I could pick three of whatever I wanted. They actually sent four. So I picked three originals, and the fourth one they sent is apparently their Aventus clone. Because as with today's video, are you really a fragrance house without your version of Aventus, right? So apparently they felt it was necessary for me to try their version of Aventus. So if you're interested in checking anything out, there is an affiliate link with the code that's pinned in the chat and in the description. But I, I mean, I don't expect to have rave reviews about all four of them. Let's be realistic here. So there's potential for at least one of them to get shit on. So that's always fun for you guys, right? So sin of the day. Aqua de Joe Parfum. This year's release, basically the reformulation and reimagining of Profumo. Much more rosemary dominant, fresh green, spicy, aquatic, a little musky. Uh, not as incense dominant as Profumo. Makes for a better option in the high heat, honestly. Wife's really digging that I'm wearing this one today. So let's see what everybody else is wearing. Oh, by the way, on your way in, guys, if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up for me. Again, another very niche topic, though it is affordable and clone fragrances and cheap stuff for the most part. So we might have a decent crowd. I don't know. We'll get to about 10 minutes and then we'll dive into the topic. Let's see who's where, what, why, and when, and so on. Antonio, we're in Coco Loco. Super hot out there in Jackson, Mississippi. It's, it's hot here, too, my man. I feel your pain. Dior Ohm 2020, ready for today's live chat. Gang's all here. Another one wearing Coco Loco. Good to see you. Yeah, great minds think alike, right? Climatics in the house. John Carlo wearing the Dior Ohm Parfum clone from Fragrance Buy. Supposedly that's what that is. Greenleaf for Climatic. Can't go wrong there. Bulgari Black 98. Never tried that one, Spencer. Boz is in the house enjoying signature rose, even though it doesn't smell quite like I expected. What were you expecting it to smell like out of curiosity? Because it's a sweet incense dominant rose. That's for sure. I'm positive that's what you're getting from it. What were you expecting? Just out of curiosity. Good to see you. Scott. Went 212 to 212 of rain today. 212 degrees to 212 inches. Interesting. Arabian Night by Arabian. Ooh, this is perfect for anything. Newt's in the house. Thank God it's Friday. Wearing Oceania. Also testing Suspiro Basso. Niche Terre d'Hermes. Both are great. Josh is in the house. I was listening to you and Joe's uh, podcast episode on the podcast earlier while I was on the treadmill. Rocking Bohemian Lime. Here we go. 90 degrees in Croatia. Wearing Youp Le Parfum in a climate controlled condition. Uh, that is a gorgeous, earthy iris that out of nowhere, like it has no right to be as good as it is. What I mean is it, it, it wasn't really talked about. There was no marketing really behind it. I just randomly picked it up on a whim, fell in love. And I myself am guilty of putting some hype behind that one because it's like I said, it had no right to be as good as it is for like, I don't know, 40 bucks I had bought it for on Amazon. It's crazy. Ready for the fall to wear that one. It's way too much for the heat that I have right now. Shagaf Poor Ohm saying hello. Hugo Extreme. I have one from Fragranza. That particular one I bought, I did not like. Willing to still give them another chance, LOL. Well, I don't know what to expect. I've never tried anything from them. They just out of the blue emailed me. I've had several companies out of the blue email me recently. Uh, Armand Jane out of the blue emailed me. I have a package coming from them. Uh, who else? There's just a few that out of the blue reached out to me. Um, all this stuff was like, sure. Why not? Nothing out the norm. Nobody wanting talking points or wanting me to say anything special. So as long as you're good with me saying whatever the hell I want, we can we can definitely look at it. So where, where was I? Where's that comment? OK, here we go. A hint sweeter. So that's your skin because on my wife, it's actually very sweet. It's a very sweet rose on Heidi. On me, the incense really takes over. It's more of a smoky rose on Justin. The oud comes out more. It has more of a warm wood tone to it. Still pretty su sweeter on Justin than it is on me, but not as sweet as it is on Heidi. And I don't recall how it smells on Grace. It's been a couple of years since the last time I smelled it on Grace. because I've only been around Grace four or five times. And I think only one of those times she was wearing rosé. 
it was before Rose even released. She had a travel atomizer George gave her. Um, so it, it's that's one of those fragrances where it really varies with your skin chemistry. So it's just not sweet, really all that sweet on you. Uh, because like I said, on Justin, it's sweeter than it is on me. It's really not super sweet on me either. Um, but it's sweet on Heidi. It's pretty sweet on Justin. And like I said, I don't remember how it comes across on Grace, but that's the people that I know immediately. On George, it's really not all that sweet either, actually. Because so it really depends on the skin, honestly. Hope you're enjoying it, though. This is him, cloudy in Germany. And not smoky, but it, really, see, it's super smoky on me. It's super. That's the main. No, it's. I get just as much incense as I do rose on my skin. That's very much. I was your parfum is not that good compared to profumo. That is a. I, I'll agree, slightly, uh, but considering the climate I'm in, I'm fine with it. Like I'm, I'm totally fine with this release. Like I'm, I'm happy they did it honestly, because I'm so sparing with profumo. I'll just wear this one more, and in the cooler months, or cooler time frame, I guess you could say, not necessarily months here, if I'm in the mood for the DNA, I'll wear my bottle of Profumo. I'm actually happy with it. Very, very happy with this. I think it's a great release. Not as good? Slightly. Sure. I, I'm, I'll uh, concede to that. You know, Happy Friday. Send of the days. Dylan Blue wearing Blue Electric was a big hit last night. I figured it would be. I'm glad you went, went that route. Testing out the new Kenneth Cole Moonlight Blue today. So far, I'm liking it. I didn't even know about that one. Luciano's wearing Blue Stallion, inspired by Sedley. So good. 10-4, 10-4. So it looks like we're going to be a pretty small crowd here today. Uh, not too many people care to hear about Fragrenza, apparently. Uh, no worries. We had a pretty good crowd yesterday. The replay value has been pretty high with the topic with Justin yesterday. So it was great to have Justin on yesterday. Uh, probably in the next two weeks, we're going to do something similar with some different fragrances, maybe on his channel we were talking about after. So Hawass was curious in your thoughts on Dusk of the Woods collection. Never heard of it. Never heard of it, man. Uh, no, I haven't. I have not. I have not. Still a banger. Very aromatic, almost gourmand-like. That's fair because there's sugar and vanilla bean in there. So if it was a little sweeter on your skin, I think you would lean even more to it being a, a bit more gourmandish because it's it's got this delectable sugary sweetness when the sweetness comes out on you like when the sweetness pops like on heidi like i said when i walk in her trail it's super sugary sweet rose it's beautiful appreciate that thanks for the support my pleasure my man what's up everyone loam ideal cologne i need to pull that one out I'm trying to get my hands on the platine privé the newest formula Eupla parfum shockingly good i think that's a great term for that montrese is in the house what's going on big dog Boogie Black was launched in 98. It's often called the hockey puck. Oh, I know exactly what fragrance you're talking about. The green tea and rubber perfumers, Anik Minardo. I know exactly which fragrance you're talking about when you say the hockey puck. Bohemian Lime for DJ. There you go. Dior Om. Oh, oh man, that's one of the best they ever put out in that line. I'll take that over the intense. Oh, yeah. I, I'm a huge fan of Dior Om. Oh. Actually, it seems to get sweeter and nicer as some time goes by an hour. So, oh, so you just spraying it like in the last hour. Yeah, give it a little time to develop. So this one's a funny one. And what I mean is it starts off really strong. See, I was just pretty hefty. And then you'll notice it calms down. And as most fragrances, it just starts to calm down more and more. But I don't know how late it is where you are. I know you're a few hours ahead of me at minimum. Depending on when you're going to shower, like once it calms down and you'll think it's pretty much just a skin scent. If you were to go do some sort of activity to raise your body temperature, it's going to start pumping off. At least for me, it does that. It'll start pumping off the skin again. So it's one of those I call it. It sticks to you like glue. Anytime you've ever heard me say that term, that's one of the fragrances that's like that, where it just stays there. And if your body heats up, it just comes back alive. Both have fair skin, Ross. Maybe that's why he, he maybe not. Could be the case. Could be the case. Did not expect to be so smoky, but it is. Oh, okay, I just misinterpreted what you meant. Yeah, it's it's very smoky on me for sure. Halcyon, I got an ah, uh, so good to have it today. Yes, it's a phenomenal fragrance. Waiting on Jack and Clubs to be delivered. Supposed to be better performing clone of Blue Electric. Let's see. Get down to half rose. Went to an immediate skin scent on me. I tried three times and gave up. My skin chemistry was the problem for sure. Sadly, smells great, though. Yeah, it's it's one of those deals where we are the variable, like we were talking about yesterday. 
it's not it's usually not the fragrance it's usually us either our nose our skin or both tip four about the giveaway on wednesday i did not I did not get an email from you about the giveaway. Or I could have potentially missed out. Is your email the same as a... Uh... Yep. There we go, Red X. Oh, so yeah, I didn't respond to just hello TLTG. You got to put more than just hello TLTG as an email, big dog. So uh, yeah. For, um Hit me with another email that says more than hello TLTG and I'll, I'll get you to do what we need to do to verify your identity and everything. So, yeah, I saw that and I, I didn't know what to make of that because that doesn't say, hey, just seeing what I got to do to verify my identity. I won the giveaway. Yeah, hit me with something. <laughs> like, seriously, let me block that. He literally put hello TLTG. You can see that that's the whole email. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's why I didn't pay it no mind, big dog. You got to. You got to give me a little more to work with than hello TLTG. So yeah, just email me after this and uh, and we'll get situated and get your package out to you. We'll get get it verified for you. Actually, I'll get it out Monday because tomorrow, for those of you members watching, which we're 12 minutes in, we're about to get rolling with these fragrances. For the members, fragrances came in today. Today's your last day to sign up. Uh, I'm going to have to do the stream in the morning. I know it's not going to be favorable for everybody to be there live, but you can always watch the the replay. So I'm probably going to have to do it at like 9 central, uh, possibly even 10, you know, probably 9 central. Uh, we've got a lot going on tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'll be watching All In live in Wembley Stadium. That's going to be like a five-hour pay-per-view. So tomorrow is going to be the time to do it. But for the $9.99 and above tier, here is your tester bottle of, so it's not standard tester boxes because mine's like this too. I bought two of them. I bought one for me. Uh, one million royal. So here's your tester bottle. First prize. Second prize, I bought myself a bottle as well. F Le Parfum from Fragrance World. Uh, supposed to be pretty damn accurate to Y Le Parfum, which is one of my favorite blues, my favorite version of Y. So I bought myself a bottle to spend time with in review, and I bought a bottle for the second prize giveaway. Third prize giveaway is a mystery box full of samples and decants. So that's for the $9.99 tier. $25 tier. First prize is, as you guys voted, 125 ml of Percival. Um, second prize is a 50 ml of the new formulation of Manhattan from City Rhythm Fragrance. Obviously, that'll come directly from Niles uh, for whoever wins. So $25 and above tiers eligible for five spins total. Obviously, we go with the, the niche tier spins first, and then whoever didn't win those is still eligible for the, the $10 tier ones, the 1 million Royal, the Eflip Parfum, and the Mystery Box. So just wanted to let you members know that are here and anybody that maybe wants to sign up. If you're interested, just click the join button right below the screen and you can look at the different tiers. Eligible uh, eligible members are continental United States only. Jason, good to see you, big dog. So we're about to have to skip some of these. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on, guys. Right. So let's go ahead and jump in, jump into these. And I mean, what the hell should we start with their Aventus clone, Immortal Zeus? I mean, I haven't opened any of them. I guess we should. Right. Only makes sense. So I'm going to get pretty far behind. So I'm actually going to skip a few of these. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, saying, I'm just busting your balls a little bit. No big deal. Just email me after and we'll get it. We'll get it squared away for you, my man. So let's see. Do our own parfum on frag by. So it sells out quick every, every time it hits. I saw a message earlier that it was in stock, so I'm surprised it's still available, honestly. Like, I'm shocked it's not sold out already. So we'll give this a try. So I'm trying to think, because I have a fragrance haul and a rack store video. Spoiler alert, here's the fragrance I picked up for the rack store video. So I need my skin for a lot of different things today. Screw it. I'm just going to go on skin and I'll just have to wash them off. Is what it is. I'll just have to wash these off after the fact. 
but a little time passing. I'm not recording right away. I got a bunch. I'm really getting everything organized over here. Give me shoe racks taken care of. So there's a box within a box. How does that, why is that necessary? I'm <laughs> just being honest here. Why is that necessary? A box within a box. I don't think you need all of that. And then the bottle's wrapped. At least they care. I'll give them that. They definitely care about their product. This bottle's heavy. Pretty nice. Porcelain. Porcelain colored white glass. Gold cap, gold print. So again, this is their version of Aventus. Cheap ass plastic cap. The collar actually stayed in the cap. Let's push that down. It smells like musky Aventus. Let's give it a spray. Big wide mist. There's something else going on here. There's that's Aventus, sure, but it's fresher than Aventus. Is that in Broxen? This is much fresh. It's it's clearly they were going for Ventus, but it's way fresher. Almost like a Urban Man Elixir kind of how that's kind of Savage meets Aventus. They don't smell exactly the same. This smells more like Aventus than that does. Yeah, this this smells like some Ambroxan with apple, pineapple, black currant, musk. Not super smoky, fresh fruity, fresh fruity Aventus with some Ambroxans, what it smells like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of digging that. That's a pleasant surprise. Let's uh let's do a split screen here. I have their website pulled up. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the notes. Immortal Zeus. So here we go. $62.99 before any discount code. So, I mean, they're not crazy prices. A 60 ml, I believe, yeah. 60 ml, you can get a 3 ml and just try it for 6 bucks. They have a diffuser. Well, okay, Dan. Top is pineapple, apple, bergamot, and black currant. Mids, birch, jasmine, patchouli, juniper berry, and rose. Maybe that juniper berry is what's doing this. Ambergris, oak moss, musk, and vanilla. Maybe that ambergris and juniper berry is what's doing this to this fragrance. Because it's not spot on Aventus. I mean, it's clear they were going for Aventus here. This is the majority of Aventus' note breakdown. The difference here is the double up on musk, because ambergris is typically musky, plus you have a musk note. So I'm thinking that ambergris is a little Ambroxan esque. And this juniper berry, it's given this fresh aromatic tone that mixed with ambergris, I think, is kind of giving me what I'm thinking smells like Ambroxan. This is pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. I have to give it to them here. Paraben-free, eco-friendly, hypoallergenic-free, cruelty-free. Well, all right, then. Oh, that's one of the ones I have. Rivalar. That's, that's one of the ones I picked out. Because the other three I picked, they weren't inspired by fragrances. They're just originals that they created. I wanted to try some of their original stuff. Because I got clones coming out of my ears. <laughs> you know? Damn, this could have been in that Creed Aventus clone video today. This is pretty damn good. I mean, Aventus has been done to death, you know? But it's still pretty good. Not too shabby. Let's pull this down. Is it some must-have if you have other Creed Aventus clones? Absolutely not. No, no need to get this if you have Creed Aventus clones in your collection. You don't need this. But it is a little different. I feel like this is what Urban Man Elixir could have been because... Urban Man Elixir is nice, but I think this is better. This is definitely better. The quality of the oils is definitely better. It's got to be the Juniper Berry. It's got to be. This is solid. First impression, 7.5 out of 10. Very good. I like it. I like it. So speaking of, I said I have Rival R. We might as well do that one next, right? catch up on some of these comments too like dj said hit that like button 
Good to see you, Joel. Trying for Bacchus. Just got to prepare for a tug of war with FedEx. Yeah, no doubt. So we have the X straight coming out. That's interesting. That's one of the ones that's uh, that's coming. I appreciate you stopping by, Joel. Really do. John, good to see you. Send today's Coach Blue. Gustav. That's random. Uh, is that blood syringes? All right. You weird son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, hello, John's doing okay. Good to see you, Lydia. Make, make a major profits. We're in Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Excited to try my haul today. Kenzo Eau de Parfum and the Intense F Bright Leather. You mean, oh, Ferragamo Bright Leather. Yeah, that's a phenomenal fragrance. Super underrated. And the Intense Brioni Eau de Parfum Intense and Eclat. Some LV clones, Reflection Man clone, Kadlaz Shiaka. Shout out to Canada. That's a hell of a haul, Spencer. That's a hell of a haul. Can't wait to get home with the spray first. Of that, bright leather. Go with bright leather because it's the most different of the group. Go with bright leather first. My bottle from Fragrance is different, better quality, in my honest opinion. Bought mine three years ago, though. 10 4. Kyler's in the house. I hit that like button. Okay, we get. Okay, so we're close to the bottom. Citizen Jack for Mojave for Coach Keith. Lanoui Delhomme Le Parfum got it after watching one of your two videos. Loving it. It's my favorite Lanoui Delhomme flanker. What's up, y'all? Scent of the day, La Beau Gaillac 10. Gaillac wood fragrance. You can't go wrong there. Smoky woods. Tarek smokiness. Right, let's bust this open. Get my little pile of garbage going right here. Get that out the way. So it's going to be a box within a box, which I'm sorry. That's just kind of strange to me. I don't remember the notes. But I remember it was looked enticing enough for it, it to be one of the ones I picked. So let's look at it that way. Because I didn't pick Immortal Zeus. They just randomly threw that one in there. So here we go. Same bottle. Rivalar. Don't remember what the notes are. We'll figure it out. One good spray. That's fruity. Definitely fruity. Ooh. Ooh, this is rich and warm and fruity. What is that? What is that note? This is really nice. This is a little too rich for the heat, but in the fall, this will be great. This is something very distinctive, and I can't figure out what the hell it is but it's a rich, warm, fruity smell. This is so good. This one's really good. This is going to be the measuring stick for this, this live stream. This is the best one. Like, I don't know what the other two are going to be like, but so far, this is better than the Aventus clone. There's, there's some note. I can't figure out what the hell it is. Split screen. Rivalar was right here at the bottom. Let's go to Rivalar. No. Apparently, I can't click on it. It's right there. Rivalar. Let's see. Citrus is mint, pear, lemonade, sage, elderberry. That's what it is. That's what's that weird fruitiness. Cedarwood and musk. Believe it or not, this is too rich for the heat. Even though there's mint, citruses, and lemonade, and pears, typically a fresh, fruity smell, this elderberry is the main note here. It's distinctive. It's this warm, fruity smell. It's overshadowing the other notes, at least in the opening blast. Oh, I like this. This is good. This is different. I didn't know what the hell it was I'm smelling, but that's clearly the elderberry. I don't have anything else that smells like this. I would say the lemonade is probably the second most dominant note. This is quite nice. It's very musky. Super enjoyable. This, this one's kind of impressive. 
impressive in a sense that I don't have another fragrance that smells like the scent profile. That's what's impressive to me. It's not the best fragrance I've ever smelled. It's not one of the you know five or 10 best fragrances I've ever smelled. It's not like mind-blowingly good. It's just so different that it was like taken back. Like, holy shit, they created something original for sure. Um, I mean, if I had to guess what I'm smelling here, that mintiness is adding some vibrance probably, but I definitely get the elderberry lemonade combo here. That's really what's kind of dancing around in my nostrils. Eight out of 10. This one's great. As far as this first impressions on this opening, this is the one I want to wear first. So we're going to put that first right there. So now let's check out Venice Seduction. I want to say this was a very fresh fragrance, hence the word Venice being in there. I just don't remember. We'll figure it out. Let's see. <clears throat> Um, if you like fruity leather, Baccio Immortel, and you already have Adonis Awakens, right? Because that would have been what I would have recommended. That's my four. Those two, Baccio Immortel and, uh, and Adonis Awakens. Tafa Kamra's worth for hype. Um, I think so. It's worth the hype. Happy Friday, Legend Red. I still haven't smelled that one. Arabian Oud Amiri, have you tried this as a stunner? I have not. I have not. Mr. Got Plenty's in here. That's what I'm talking about. What a beautiful bottle, white and gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. I like the presentations on them. But Rivalar, that elderberry, who knew? Who knew? Phenomenal smell. It's almost got like a floral tone to it. Almost like a jamminess. A lemonade note. Yeah, that's. it's got this almost acidic type of lemon feel to it. That could be intensified by the citrus as a chord that they have, but I'll be continue blind buying them when I see them. You get the mint and river. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what's creating the vibrance. It's not necessarily minty, but there's this freshness to go with that warm, fruity tone. Like it's, it's really opening up as it's settling down. And it doesn't distinctively where I'm like, ooh, this is minty. But there's, there's this odd freshness. It's just odd overall because it's a weird combination. But, I mean, it may not look like a weird combination to you guys, but when you smell it, it is a little weird. Good weird, but a little weird. Do you know what's going on wearing one million cologne? How do you spell? So B-A-C-I-O. Baccio Immortel. B-A-C-I-O. Baccio. The Lord. Happy Friday. A person can't get with wearing clones. Not sure why. Not just my. Hey, T-Stone. No big deal. Some people are totally against it. I get it. Wearing Creed Aventus cologne. 40 knots. What weird weather this week. Tom Ford Noir Extreme Tuesday and 40 knots today. Any chocolatey perfume. I don't really wear a lot of chocolatey fragrances. Can't really help you there, man. Maybe somebody in the chat because I'm not really a chocolate fragrance guy. I'm not. I'm not much for gourmands. There's only certain ones I even enjoy, and chocolate dominance, not really the main note for me. Outside of maybe something like a Dolce Diablo, uh, which is a lot of booze, apricot, and dark chocolate, something like that. Kiss in Italian. Well, there you go. Yeah, but that, that's how you spell it. Bacio, Immortal Kiss. Nice title. Amiri in the vein of event is super potent. Secret tip right now. Not cheap, though. I'm liking Cocktail Intense. Maybe not as much as Kamra, but it's good. Yeah, Kamra, if you like the sweeter take on Angel Share, it's hard to beat. It's the best sweet take. Now, there's others that are more cinnamon dominant, like uh, Intoxicate, for example. Huge fan of that one. If you like the more spicy side of the DNA, that's the way to go as far as affordability. So Venice Seduction. Let's see what we got here. I've got high hopes. Not really. It's just a luck of the draw kind of thing. Venice Seduction. Nice name, right? You would think kind of beachy, potentially. Let's see what we're working with here. Go on top of the forearm. It's two sprays.
Now, this is bright, zesty, and vibrant, as you would think with something with the name Venice in it. It's watery. It's a this one's a little minty. Very bright. There's a crisp tone to this aroma. I know I saw your comment earlier. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like red tobacco either because it smells pretty much like a cheaper version of red tobacco. <laughs> For sure. It's a, it's a clone of Carolina Herrera mystery tobacco or mysterious tobacco, mystery tobacco, whatever. But that also apparently smells like red tobacco because that is an affordable way to smell like red tobacco, which you're talking about right here. This one's a little different too. It's getting woody pretty quickly, like really quickly. I'm very surprised. And this one again has a something different in the notes here. Good to see you, Scott. More essential obsessions, pure Havan clone. Okay. Glad they finally get to attend a live show. Really like the new desk. End of the day, Bentley Azure. So I have that out to wear sooner than later, hopefully. But I have right here ready to go this one i, I can't really there's something different about this that i can't depict obviously this i think there's going to be some kind of surprise here kind of like how elderberry was a surprise for rivalar cardamom dry fruits tuberose saffron tobacco blossom and patchouli so the cardamom's that mintiness i'm getting cardamom can do that sometimes because there's a mintiness as soon as i sprayed it but that's this odd combination is creating this odd smell. Dried fruits, tuberose, saffron, and tobacco blossom with patchouli. What an odd combination. I think that's why I picked it actually, because it's an odd combination. Would you? You really want me to answer that? Or you, can you figure out what the answer is? Because it's obvious. Because I like the way it smells more. Like, I, I don't understand your confusion. Like, I picked what I like the smell of more. That's the point of those tournaments. Royale X. Ain't wrong there. Donna's Awakens, Batu, Immortel, Danye, Palace Athene, Triumph of Bacchus, and Poor Ohm. In order, Chez Bon, any thoughts on genre parfums? I, I haven't got anything new from them in a long time, but Ran After My Car, R-A-M-C, is a must from them. That tuberose is setting in quick. So if you don't like tuberose, this is an avoid-at-all-cost kind of fragrance. It started off very fresh. The cardamom is very fresh and minty, and it's starting to settle into creamy white floral tuberose. The tobacco blossoms giving it a little bit of character. It's a similar thing. If you if you're curious on tobacco blossom, kind of that odd creamy floral smell that Bulgari Blue has, it's centered around tobacco blossom. This kind of gives me a similar tone to that fragrance. But again, that's fr even fresher than this is. This is more dense, and it's more creamy than it is powdery. This fragrance, it's not super powdery. It's it's definitely on the creamy side. It's a creamy floral. It's good. It's on the unique side. It's perfectly unisex, leaning a little feminine, honestly. But not crazy. Not crazy good. I like the uniqueness of it. This is a 7 out of 10. Very good. So far, there's nothing even average. They're just like, nothing's blown me away. They're just on the unique side. Unique's the, a good way to go here. That's a good way to win me over if it's the first time I'm smelling something. Though there was something familiar about this that I was able to tie it to with Bulgari Blue. But, I mean, that's such a unique fragrance in itself. Not a whole lot smells like that either. This is pretty damn good. Again, this one, better than the Aventus clone. We're going to put that at number two. The Aventus clone for an Aventus clone. It's really good. But these originals are better. And last, we have Oriental Diamond. 
Don't remember the notes here. Obviously, I would think it's very oriental. Resinous fragrance, because like I said, I, I picked these, so I've looked at the notes. I just don't remember specifically what the notes are. Let's get it busted open. Get a few more of these in the comments. A good experience with genre. Smell one in Puerto Rico yet, though. Wow, well, have you smelled mixed on Alhambra's amber and leather? I haven't. I haven't. I know it's I know it's a clone of a uh, ombre leather. I just haven't tried it. You can hope all is well. Paco Bond Phantom, the OG. Do you know of any good fragrance? Cucumber note off the top of your head. Polo blue. Uh, by the way, nothing but love in this hobby is where it's at. Plus fishing. LOL. Yeah, definitely. If you want the ultimate cucumber fragrance, you want polo blue. And roses on ice has some serious cucumber. There you go. Fragrance Body just sent me an email that Jean Lo Immortals back in stock. Lamensity clone. Lamensa Lamensite, excuse me. I just snagged a bottle. What is your go-to fragrance for cold weather? I don't have really a go-to fragrance for anything specifically. Um outside of mm, even with the gym. First instinct blue is my favorite, but I actually Probably lately have worn Versace Mano Fresh style fragrances more often. So even that, I don't really have one go-to. Uh, I would say something along the lines of as far as something I'm excited to wear when cold weather rolls around. That would be Vertus Vanilla Oud and uh, Zaharoff Leather Tabac because those are just so such heavy fragrances. They're just built for the cold. Voyage is the obvious cheapy choice. Obvious? Doesn't have cucumber, even though people like to say it does. It doesn't have cucumber. Apple is the green, watery, fruity thing that you get out of that. It's apple. Crypto figure, good to see you. It's tropical fruits, rum, and blonde tobacco. That does sound interesting. So let's get this last one out. Oriental diamonds. Let's see what we're working with here. Could be the worst one, could be middle of the road, could be the best one. Don't know till we spray it, right? Let's see what we're working with here. So it has leaked. It's a dark colored juice. It's all over the atomizer. I'm not going to adjust the focus because I have it on manual focus. But. Woo! This would be most people's favorite of these four. This is a heavy fragrance, heavier fragrance, definitely cooler weather. It smells a little boozy, boozy, woodsy, fresh, spicy, not all that warm. A little bit of resin. It's got this balsamic aromatic feel. Definitely very aromatic. More than I anticipated. I was I didn't see that coming. Oriental Diamond. Has a little bit of a Middle Eastern feel to it. Definitely has a lot of resins here, but it's not like dark resins. More aromatic and balsamic type of resins. Let's let's pull this one up. I'm very curious. What are the notes? Oriental Diamond. Let's see. Fragrenza Twist. So bergamot. So really, that's it? It's got this oriental resinous feel. Bergamot, orange, lemon, fruity notes, amber, vanilla, and white musk. They're not telling me everything here because that is not what it smells like. I mean, amber, yeah, sure. Fruity notes, I could believe. Like all of that, but... There's something like very aromatic and woodsy about this. There's no woody notes. There's nothing aromatic about these notes. Just this is an interesting, odd note breakdown versus what I'm actually smelling from this one. Like I said the fruity notes are very believable here. Yeah, I totally agree in the amber, but hmm, there's more going on. Imagine embracing a mesmerizing journey to breathtaking beauty with a fragrance of Orient Blend. Some this sweetness of exotic fruits, da, 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 da. zesty notes, creating invigorating, uplifting atmosphere. 
and drink deep into the mystical land, intoxicating around luscious fruit, sweetness, from embrace, continue the landscape, the breeze. I mean, it's it comes across like um like an ambergris, which could be the musk, an ambergris myrrh kind of combo. Like it's this. Like there's vanilla, so that makes sense because I was thinking because myrrh can come across vanillic, but there's also like I said, there's, uh, there's nothing to account for the aromatic feel to this, and it's not a soapy aromatic, but there's definitely quite the airy vibrance to this. It's not super unique, but it is really nice. Like I said, I can see the majority of people liking this one out of the group. It's only fifty bucks right now, too. Buy any two, get 10% off. Three, get 15% off. Four, get 20% off. All right. Three ML is still $5.99. This is super versatile. This could be worn every day, no matter what. Just whatever season, pick the situation. Irrelevant. This, this is super, super versatile right here. Eight point five out of ten. It's the best fragrance in the video. Apparently, the best was last. Why am I? Because the the notes still aren't adding up. Some of it is, but there's still stuff that I'm smelling that's not being accounted for. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah, this is the eight point five out of ten. This is the highest rated. So that goes to first. They're all actually pretty damn good. I would say, because I was impressed with the Aventus clone. Yeah, it's definitely drying down into musky Aventus. But it's the least attractive of the four. For an Aventus clone, it's actually quite nice because it's it's fresh, fruity Aventus. Um, that juniper berry, I think, is really what changed and transitioned this into a much more aromatic fragrance. For an Aventus clone, yes, it is It is great. This could have been in today's video, but when you compare it with the other three, it's number four. Well, that's frustrating. So the internet went out. I'm telling you, something about midday over here, it's awful. The internet is terrible here. I don't know what the problem is. I apologize, guys, having to finish this on the phone. Um, this happened with the Mr. Romantic Atrium fragrance video not that long ago. It's something about midday. The bandwidth is absolutely terrible. Terrible in this apartment complex. Uh, so, wow, it's literally called wow is the internet provider and they're putting fiber optic cables in. I see the dude every day in different spots feeding the cable through his machine. So I can't wait for them to get the fiber optic because their cable internet's terrible here. Absolutely freaking terrible. It's un because you would think with me doing midday live streams, I would get most a lot of bandwidth when actually at night it's blazing fast when everybody's home. It's weird because on cable internet, for those of you who don't know, you share bandwidth in an apartment complex. With fiber optic, you do not. It does not affect bandwidth, no matter how many people on the fiber optic, it does not affect your personal bandwidth. So, yeah, it's kind of weird, man. Uh, it's unfortunate, but like I was saying about these fragrances, nothing mediocre, but nothing mind-blowing either. That's a good acronym. That's a good way to look at the acronym, Joel. Worse online wireless. Yeah, that's, that's fair, actually. Um, yeah, it's still not connected. The internet just went out, out of the blue, you know, 
God forbid that happen when I'm watching a pay-per-view and I'm going to pay $50 for it uh, on Sunday, you know, uh, but point being, do I highly recommend? I don't know if I highly recommend, but they're worth checking out. They're worth getting a few samples. If any of this sounded good, because the quality here is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's like niche level, high level luxury stuff. I am surprised by their Aventus clone because the Juniper Berry inclusion really changed it. Revel R, that elderberry, that elderberry, it's the most unique fragrance of the four, easily. The most versatile is definitely Oriental Diamond. Venice Seduction, now that it's drying, it's, it's, it's pretty mediocre. I'm going to bump that down to like a 6.5 out of 10, better than good kind of right above average it's not special many people working from home question i don't know i don't know every time i walk into a gym i look around and say is everybody a youtuber here i mean what the hell it was like that in colorado springs where i literally was like oh you're all youtubers it's 12 o'clock on tuesday and you're all here at the gym with me none of you work <laughs> so you're all on youtube right um you never know you never know so uh it's actually so there's going to be a split screen probably um, with the replay. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I think it dropped me off actually. Yeah. Cause it's just dropped my PC off cause it completely lost connection. But guys, I, I apologize for the internet dropping off like this again. It's very frustrating for me just as much as it is for you, if not more, I promise. But um, yeah, for, like I was saying, for those of you channel members that are still here, it'll be nine, probably 9 AM central time tomorrow morning. We'll do the members only live stream. We'll do the, the wheel, the spins with the giveaways. We've got five spins. Uh, everything's here. And uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We covered the four fragrances. Uh, let's see. Get rid of this dickhead real quick because I don't play that game. And uh, yeah, aside from that, make sure to check out today's video. You guys... Uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, definitely drop a comment after the stream is over. And I'm not sure which video is going to come out tomorrow, but weekly rotation will be on Sunday. And uh, good luck to everybody in the member giveaways. Have a great one, guys.